my dear Mrs. Young's high ability fourth period language arts class. You asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my fanny pack adventures. Well, I can certainly tell you I've told the truth. But I may not have told you all of it. I am old now, Mrs. Young's class. I'm not the young boy I once was. I think it is time for you to know what really happened. It began long ago far to the east, in lands... Is that a fanny pack? Stop! What you have just witnessed here is an assault due to fanny pack related causes. If this man was not wearing a fanny pack, he may not have attacked this other young adult. <laughs> to the Dr. Fofra Show. I am Dr. Fofra. Recently, there have been some fanny pack violence reports in Reedsville, Oklahoma. My first guest, Wilbur Fredrickson, is a victim of these appalling crimes. Please join me in welcoming Wilbur. Yes, I see you. Hello, do you see me? Okay. All right. Welcome to the show, Wilbur. Thank you. All right, sit down. Uh, now, Wilbur, tell us your story. Oh, I'll try. <clears throat> Thank you again, Dr. Popo, for having me on the show. It means a lot to me. Thank Welcome, you. anytime. Well, I guess I'll begin from the beginning. My, my father was an alcoholic, and one night, on a Thursday night, he came in home, he came home a little more drunk than usual, and he had lots of fanny packs with him. My mom reached for the pink one. He didn't like that. He slapped her across the face with it, with me watching. I'm sorry. And then he looked at me and said, you don't like fanny packs? And then he clipped it around my waist. Is that the fanny pack that he put on your waist? Yes. I haven't taken it off since. Here on the Dr. Fogger Show, we're going to do something I like to call moving on. No. You need to get over it, son. The sooner you accept that, the sooner you can start living your natural life. Now, maybe a story will cheer you up. So, when I was a young toddler, down in a trailer park in Texas, my grandpa took me out fishing on the riverbank. And the first thing he said to me was, Don't scare the fishes. <laughs> All our fish is too, you know. But anyway, as I was up uh, fishing, I tripped over a big rock and I made a huge splash. And I fell down and I hurt my elbow. Then my grandpappy came over to me and you know what he said? What? Is the rock okay? That really speaks to me, Fulbro. It does. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a picture. Guatemala, 2013. 
Uh, anyway. Hey, uh, folks, is this the fanny pack convention in here? Hold this. Hey! You! You, get out of here! Get off my show! <laughs> You're done! You're, I don't want to see you again. Wait, Hence. Can, can you get rid of this? <laughs> hey, can you... Yeah, just get this out of here. Hello? Yeah. No, I'm in the middle of the show right now. I can't really talk. No, Mom, I'll be home at 8. What do you mean the president's going to be there? Well, nobody told me that. Hey. You quiet down, I'm busy, okay. I'll be, okay, starts at 6, I'll be there at 8.30, okay? Well, yeah, I'll be here at 5, okay, anyway. We, are we, we done here? Alright, bye, Mom. Oh, yeah, we're done. Uh, uh, just, you know, do whatever you can for the show. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'll stay after, I'll stay late tonight. And, oh, yeah, that is what I said. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me, Dr. Bogra. When I was a young boy down in Texas in the trailer parks, I used to love meal time. And one of my favorite meals ever was frozen corn. <laughs> frozen corn is an admirable substance. You don't have to cook it, bake it, or anything. You can just eat it whole. And you wash it down with that, I used to like kool aid Mars. Cherry flavor, and uh, these two make a great combination. Go by Walmart and get these both. Tell them Fogra sent you and receive a free plastic bag. I recommend these to all my viewers who watch the Dr. Fogra show. Thank you for your time.